Maintaining organized and accessible records is important for your business. This video will discuss the steps you can take and tools you will need to accurately track and manage business records. The information contained here has been prepared by Civitas Strategies and is not intended to constitute legal, tax, or financial advice. The Civitas Strategies team has used reasonable efforts in collecting, preparing, and providing this information, but does not guarantee its accuracy, completeness, adequacy, or currency. The publication and distribution of this information is not intended to create, and receipt does not constitute an attorney client or any other advisory relationship. Reproduction of this information is expressly prohibited. No matter the size of your business, maintaining accurate records is vital to your operations. A solid and complete record-keeping system can help you to easily access your documents when needed and save you any worry about misplacing something critical. You'll also be able to find something when you need it or when it's been requested by a funder or government representative. Practically speaking, clear records allow you to quickly understand your business needs and the day-to-day -day operations. Today, we are going to talk about the types of records you should keep, how long you should keep your records, and how to store them, whether your records are digital or on paper. We'll also go over some tips to help you get started. There are several key records that you should maintain regardless of your business size. For example, all businesses should keep their state and federal tax returns, including all supporting and backup documentation. Businesses should also keep current and past employee names and addresses, timesheets, and pay stubs. Generally, records should also include bank statements, insurance documents, contracts, loans and mortgage records, purchase receipts, customer bills, profit and loss statements, and balance sheets. There are additional types of records that will be useful to keep depending on your organization type. For larger organizations, you should keep a depreciation schedule, if applicable. Nonprofits or corporations with a board of directors should also save relevant meeting minutes, documentation, and incorporation paperwork. As a general rule, all child care providers should save all paperwork related to their business, including licensing and regulation. Different kinds of records should be kept for different lengths of time, and some are dependent on the specific needs of your business. Remember that Georgia licensing rules specify the records you must keep and for how long. We recommend keeping all tax records for seven years, the maximum needed in cases where you're claiming a loss, but the minimum needed is at least three years from the date you filed the original return or two years from the date you paid the tax, whichever one is later. Accounting documents, including invoices and checks, should be kept for five years. Any payroll records and print time cards should be held for between three to seven years, like your tax records. For nonprofits or corporations that complete audit reports, plan to keep those records indefinitely. Annual statements should remain in your records indefinitely as well. Other important records and the amounts of time to keep them include personnel files for four to five years, past insurance policies and records for three years, and contracts for three years after they've been completed. It can be useful to create a record retention schedule for your business, outlining how long that you should keep copies of each type of document. The good news is that you have various options for storing your records. The perks of maintaining digital records are that they don't take up space to store and there are many free or low-cost storage options that are simple to use. Setting up your digital records can be as simple as saving digital copies or photos of your documents on your computer. A paper record-keeping system can be simple to set up, but it should be clearly organized and labeled to help you quickly find your documents when you need them. Consider tools for organizing a paper-based system. These might include file folders, hanging folders, or a larger accordion folder or cabinet storage. Either way, whether you're setting up a digital or a paper-based record-keeping system, getting everything set up will take some time. An investment of a couple of hours and a few file folders can give you the peace of mind of knowing your records are in order and easily accessible. A records index acts like a reference guide, so you can easily look up and find a certain file you might need. This works not just for you, but also for someone else, in case they need to locate something when you're not available. The simple version might just be a set of labeled file folders with sections to make everything easy to access. The more complex version might be a spreadsheet or table indicating where each important record can be found. Maintaining accurate records for your child care business helps you provide quality care and protects the health and safety of the children in your care. 
It is also helpful for any audits, or if you are looking to expand and need information to show potential investors, apply for grants, or to apply for loans. Your records are crucial to your business, and being able to access them easily can save you frustration time and money. Whatever record system works for you, plan to regularly maintain and back up your important information. This means first creating a habit for yourself. Some people prefer to file things right when they cross their desk, while others might prefer to hold everything and file once a month or so. Either way, find a system that works for you and one that you're able to keep up with. We also strongly suggest keeping the sets of records stored into places, perhaps in your office computer and your files at home, for example. Doing so means you'll always have a backup copy if something goes wrong. Creating a simple log can help you organize your record keeping system. As you create your filing system, keep in mind that key records and data, like social security numbers and addresses, also need to have privacy protections. Be sure to lock up sensitive information kept in hard copies. There are options to lock digital files with password protection or to use multiple encryption technology on cloud servers. Whether your files are on paper, on your hard drive, or in the cloud, add the maximum reasonable amount of protection you can in order to mitigate the risk of a data breach. Keep the people who are allowed access to this data to a minimum. You can use your record-keeping system not only to maintain historical information, but also to help prepare for future or recurring tasks. This method is called a tickler system. Create a tickler note, document, or folder, either digitally or on paper, that has reminders, upcoming information, or to-do items that come up every month or every quarter. Ticklers can prepare you for quarterly taxes or annual reporting or remind you of monthly follow-ups or renewals, for example. Remember, there's outside help available if needed. If you're able to hire an outside bookkeeper, be clear about their activities and remember that the ultimate responsibility for bookkeeping and storing accounting records for your business lies with you. Even if you have a bookkeeper to handle some functions, you should still maintain knowledge of general best practices and an awareness of your business's record keeping. There are also online and computer-based tools that can help with things like invoicing, time tracking, payroll, paying bills, and more, but there are so many choices. If you're considering purchasing one of these apps or software platforms, you should be clear about your needs and your budget, use a trial period or demo to understand the available features, and make sure you're comfortable with the program, and think about mobile accessibility, and how it will be accessed by your team and your staff. For more information, visit the DECAL Thriving Child Care Business Academy website. If you have questions about the Academy, send them to the email address on the screen.